All right, main purpose of the text, no real difference between that and the main idea of the text in my opinion. So just overall, we're, we're reading the thing, we're trying to pick up little clues as we go, but don't overthink it. Don't get too bogged down in the details. Let's let the choices tell us what to care about. Composer Florence Price won first place for her score, Symphony in E Minor, at the 1932 Wanamaker Foundation Awards. This piece was performed the following year by the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, a significant recognition of its quality. Price continued to compose many musical pieces throughout her career, blending traditional black spirituals with classical European romantic musical traditions. In recent years, Price's concertos and symphonies have been performed and recorded by several major orchestras, further preserving her work for others to enjoy. So, basically, Price is good. That's all I get here. That's all you need to care about. So uh, what is the purpose of the text? A, to provide examples of Price's importance as a composer. Well, importance seems like a positive, and it's about her. So are there examples? Maybe that's the only thing I would ask. I mean, I guess they do give one, right? The specifics about the 1932 Wanamaker Foundation Awards, right? Like, and then it was used. So that's a specific example. So I, I don't know. That seems to check off. But let's keep going. Let's take a look at the other choices. B, to argue that more major orchestras should perform Price's compositions. It's not an argument. And, and here we have that classic kind of trap. We're quantifying something. More major orchestras. So are, do they talk about the number of orchestras that are performing things? No, this is purely about just this one person. It's also maybe switching the main character, right? It's about the, it's about the person, Price, not about all these other orchestras and what they're doing. So this is kind of just missing the point. C, to describe the musical styles that inspired many of Price's symphonies, well, what are the musical styles? Turn that into a question. It does say that she's blending, uh, let's see here, uh, classical uh, European romantic musical traditions with black spirituals, but that's just one sentence kind of buried later in this thing. Is that really, like, is that the, really the point of the passage to describe those styles? Uh, plus, I don't love the, the other quantifying word, many, right? I mean... I guess it's many because that's the only example we get, but like it seems like we're making an assumption there to justify that word. And so, yeah, we can we can talk about this choice in lots of different ways as to saying why it's wrong. But but notice how when we start to think about the trap answers and, and those kinds of patterns, it's easier to kind of pick things apart sometimes and be like, yeah, it, it overall feels bad. But then I've got these other words that are kind of reinforcing that 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 vibe that I get from the choice. D, to compare, oh, compare, Price's scores with those of classical European composers. No, we, we do mention that she's maybe uh, being influenced by those people, but she's we're not comparing them. So literally, comparisons are one of those classic SAT traps. So that's why I noticed that word right away. Is the passage a comparison of things? No, it's all about one person, right? If we mention other people, it is only in support of Price. So A is, yeah, the best answer here. I, I thought that was pretty good when I first read it, but you always want to read every choice. You never know. Sometimes you miss something the first time through, and then you find a better choice later on that saves the question for you. So always read everything. It doesn't really take much longer than just uh, a couple extra seconds, and it is worth those seconds to guarantee the points.